Hi, I'm Linda, and I work in quality and compliance for the National Mental Health Division. But I've worked in quality and safety for over 20 years across uh, Irish healthcare systems, and particularly in mental health. And while we've identified that there's a number of really good initiatives and good practices across mental health, there are a number of areas that need to be, like everywhere, need to be improved. So I've worked with the National Mental Health Team to look at how we can support staff and service users to meet the requirements of the regulations, codes of practice and rules, and also deliver care. And it's always a challenge for staff who are working within an environment to meet regulations, but also deliver evidence-based practice. So as, so as a team, we decided to look at a guidance document, a one-stop shop that which would include all the regulations, the codes and the rules, so that staff can be guided towards continuous quality improvement. So we decided to develop a guidance which would include everything that you need to meet the requirements of the regulations, codes and rules that's required by the Mental Health Commission, but also to support you to improve quality and safety of mental health care. The best practice guidance is de was developed in consultation with service users, staff, stakeholders, our regulators, and we had public consultation and we had a pilot. So we developed draft guidance and then we went out to the people who work in the services every day and listened to what they wanted in this guidance. So we envisage that when the guidance is implemented, it will support a team approach to look at equality and safety. So people will say, well, what am I doing really well? And we have a lot of really good practices across mental health services. So what are we doing really well? And how can we improve our service? So it allows a team, including a service users, to sit down and work together as a team throughout the guidance document and be able to look at and focus on specific areas that need to be improved rather than getting overwhelmed with lots of rules and regulations and different documents. They now have one document which is going to support people to improve quality and safety. How teams might use this guidance, the guidance is developed in an approach that is multidisciplinary. Okay, so what I mean by that is that a team, which we, any mental health team, whether you're in an inpatient unit or a community mental health team, would, would sit down and work through the guidance. So there are five teams and you would work through those over, we would say, a nine month period. So maybe a team might meet for an hour after your team meeting and take, a, take one of the teams, for example, recovery oriented care and support and work through the areas that you're doing really well. So what we have done is in the guidance, we've included a list of features. So the features are prompts. So they're asking you questions. So asking you, what do you have in place to meet the guidance? So the team work through that and go through each of the features. So they identify what they're doing really well. However, they may also identify the areas that they want to focus on. For example, fire safety. So a team might look through the guidance and say, well, we have a fire register in place. We've had fire drills. Our staff are trained. However, our fire doors do not, um, do not meet best practice. So that might be an area that you might want to focus on. So you might include that. We've also developed an IT system, an online system, which will allow your team, so when they're sitting down together to do a self-assessment, they can sit down and record this on an information system, which will then allow them to print off their quality improvement plans. So when the team then meet for their management team, they can go through the areas of really good practice and also focus on the areas that they need to spend time and resources on. So it allows you then as a team to be proud of the things that you implement and put in practice.